Hey, got a little break in the weather, so I pulled the cover off this uh, Axelson lathe, and there's not a speck of rust on it. It just looks great. Yeah, real good. Now I uh, keep a 100 watt light bulb burning in the sump in the coolant sump of this machine and it just really works. It's a tip I got from a machine tool dealer on the coast years ago. So I'll just kind of let it air out a little bit and uh, throw some more oil on it and uh, call it good. Okay, I'm still working on this thing and uh, using these stones and it's getting very close. Getting real nice. And uh, one of the problem areas on it is the slot here. The knockout slot. So I'm going to uh, use the uh, famous Fordham tool. Which I like a lot better than uh, uh, Dremel's. They're just kind of pleasant. And I got a Norbite stick here, and I'm going to shape the point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those Dremels really vibrate, you know. This is an old time tool, these four of them that uh, show up pretty cheap sometimes. I'm going to give that a good bevel so it doesn't get uh, puckered out. Oh, look at that. Get it in there. Yeah, it kind of gets uh, dashed up a little bit, sticking the drift in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I got this file here, and I'm going to draw a file it. Just draw a file of that uh, area a little bit. It's a knife edge file, and you can draw a file them with them really quite nicely. Yeah, just kind of smooth that out a little bit. I think I could grind that a little better on the bottom there. I'm going to grind that a little better. Get a nice smooth pass for it. Oh, this looks a lot better. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I'll take the stone and just go over it. I can just feel just some little bit of birds that I made there. Okay, they're all gone. Go around to the other side. I kind of trim the other side a little bit. Let's 
Yeah, I think that's going to be gray. You can see it's kind of speckled a little bit. It's got a majority of contacts, so it should be fine. And this is kind of an interesting piece here. Uh, I could put a center in it and drive dogs uh, with it in the tool and cutter grinder work head. So I think I'll find some good uses for this. I'll test it out, and I'm pretty sure I can get this thing to run very true. Okay, that looks great. All right, another free thing. Well, you know, you have to put a couple hours in it, but it looks good. Hey, it was kind of warm yesterday, but it's frosty today, so I'm back in here. And uh, I got that uh, adapter that I was using um, the, the ground stones on in the spindle here and it's running a thousandths and a half on a, a four Morse taper. I, I stuck this uh, four inch uh, boring head in there and it'll, it'll work fine. This uh, holder has a set screw so I'll grind a flat uh, to help secure the uh, Morse taper into that if I have to use it for boring. Oh, well, this is kind of a nice setup. Um, you know, I was poking around on eBay and you can't uh, get by much under a hundred bucks adapting a boring head uh, <laughs> to a 50, 50 taper. It's just uh, not a lot of ways to do it. And I managed to uh, come up with a couple of shanks uh, very cheap and really happy about saving money there and plus I feel a little more self-sufficient I don't have to be buying everything oh th this is a, a little thing I did here now now I built this thing here as a uh, support for a regular type a milling arbor but I got a uh, a little live center fit in there and what I can do is I can just take a plain piece of steel uh, put a center hole in it. Oh, well, for some reason the camera decided to shut off. I don't know why. Fresh battery. Weird uh, GoPro camera. <laughs> well, okay. I got. I adapted a, a small life center here, and I could just take an ordinary piece of steel, um, have it so I can have a cutter in it that's adjustable, or braze a cutter to it, and do line boring. Hold the other end in a collar chuck or something. We're going to come up with a real quick uh, uh, arbor that way. Quick and cheap. <laughs> okay. Well, I, uh, uh, it's just a little frosty out there, and uh, I'm, I'm, uh, as soon as it warms up a little more, I'm going to pull that press apart and uh, get the hand wheel in here and start working on it. Uh, this is a great machine to uh, do that kind of repair. So I will start preparing for that repair okay hope you guys are staying busy if you're not get out there and do something okay bye